What is up guys, 503 Spricks here, and today we will be reviewing set number 70419 Wrecked Shrimp Boat. This retails for $30 for 310 pieces, and it is 7 and up, but you can find this set for the most part on Amazon and other retailers for $24, which is 20% off. Um, this is my new setup, guys. So before this video starts, can you please comment what you think of the new setup? Should I do the old setup or the new one? Please let me know. I would appreciate it. But with that being said, let's take a look at the set. And I'll start with some of the side items you get um, for the set. The first thing we have here is a little canoe that on the front of the box... How um, you have um, Jack and Parker in just a normal um, yellow canoe print. This is my first time getting a canoe in Lego form, so it might be the first time for you too. Um, so it's very cool to get. It has a little clip piece with an oar so you can steer the canoe in which way you want. But me for you can sit right here, right here, and you can even have Spencer. Um, the dog right on the front of the boat if you want to do that but very nice in um, canoe and I'm very glad that they included next piece we're going to talk about is an albino alligator I believe as far as this video is concerned um, this is an exclusive piece basically this is the alligator print but in like a tan white color with red eyes um, covering in albino animals how they are the kind of the white color this is that for an alligator um, you can see that his jaw moves up and down if you want it to you can have it fully closed widely open or just a little bit up like that to make it look very cool his tail over here also legs side to side there's studs so you can stand someone on top of him or sit someone on top of him but overall a very very cool piece very cool to get if you love getting um different animal pre uh, pieces and as this being an exclusive piece cool to get in a cheaper set like I'm dividing this set into two separate pieces so it's easier to take a look at. I'll show you what you can do with this piece though. Um, you have the uh, main land section, then we'll take a look at the boat in a little bit. But starting off on the left side here, you have some shrubs, some um, nice detail. There you have a pin, which I'll show you what that is for later. Same on this other side, you have a pin. Then you have this normal kind of rock look, which you can lift up to feel a monster. You can use that however you want, but cool that they add in that. You can use it just normally as the normal setup, or you can use it as the um, monster that it can include on the back. If we turn around, there is nothing there, but um, turning around back to the front, let's take a look at what you can mostly do with this set and how I personally like to display this set. And this is personally how I like to display the set. Um, we'll take a look at the boat together in a little bit, but I like displaying it as a shipwreck and the two pins the uh, um, holes on the bottom of the boat, which you could just stick in the pin and place it like that. So it looks like it's um, shipped wreck, which is very cool as a display feature just to make it look like one overall display piece. And with that being said, let's take a look at the boat. And with a simple connection, you can put the boat into one piece like that. But we'll start with the detail on the boat on the back right here. You have this little wheel which is on like every hidden side set where you turn it and it's a different color. I believe that has something to do with the game on the phone. But I just put the blue one because I think that looks the best and matches the color scheme of the boat the best. Have a little engine with a sticker piece right there to give it some defined detail. You have a seat back here which you can place a minifigure if you want to. He can be fishing off the back of the boat or he could be sitting facing front. Have a tan uh, basket here with two fish and two 
crab legs right there. Moving on, you have this very nice build for the, the buoys on the side of the ship. And very cool stickering right here to show the wood. I really love this ship because um, there's a lot of detail in it. But if you go up here where you could drive the ship, you have another seat right there. As you can see, a steering wheel and two control panels, one being a sticker, one being a print right there at the bottom. And you have stickers all across the glass of the ship for cracks and different stuff like that. You have another sticker here to show uh, another buoy, which you can throw, pretend to fall into the water. You have another sticker here for the boat number. Have a little pipe detail here. Have an M with two anchors, another sticker, another sticker at the top for the shrimp logo. Um, have a light on this side, by the way, which can swing if you want it to, just for some more detail and more of the same stickers on the other side. A lot of stickers in the set, but I think it gives it a lot of detail, so I'm not horribly mad. I think the stickers overall look really good. You have another seat here at the front, nice sloping here. You could set someone here at the front. You have um, a sticker here for the boat's name and also right there with the wood and the metal detailing um not too much to say like i said before you can split the boat in two with a simple technic connection there and the holes just stick in right there to go to the bottom of it to put it on the shipwreck and with the boat um being done and that we've taken the first minifigure we have here is the Parker minifig. Starting off has some light blue jeans with some rips in them. You have her phone, which is a peach um, pink type color with the print of the hunting the ghost. You have the black shirt, nice detailing for that. Have the different arms on the back. There's a strap then on the front you have the exclusive print for this theme so far i believe it might have came in a nose so i'm not sure but the beanie and hair combo with her smiling face turning around to back we get a better look at the back strap print and if we take off her headpiece and turn it around she has a more confused suspicious look on the back and that's overall the parker minifigure let's take a look at some of the other minifigures included with the figure we have here is the Jack minifigure you get. Has some normal black legs. One of my favorite hoodie prints ever. I love the white and the red. Simple hoodie prints but very nice looking. Has another phone like Parker except his is black with a slightly different print of a ghost. Has the hat and, um, and hood combo with the white and the red and black. He has a smiley face at the front. Um, on the back, you have more of that scratch print uh, with the red kind of coming in. Then he has a very scared looking face print on the back of Jack. Overall, a very cool minifigure and love the torso print that comes. Character is Spencer. This is a new exclusive print with the white dog and part of it being clear. Very cool. Comes in a lot of sets, so it is not hard to get, but overall very cool dog um, dog print mode um, thing. <laughs> worker on the ship he has some very, very nice subtle leg print on there lego did not need to do that but i think it looks very cool and adds um some detail to the figure love the torso print of the overalls half coming off very scared shocked um in expression then he has the uh prisoner's cap on in the navy blue color then the back print carries on the same detail as the front overall a standard minifigure not too much else to say about this mini the captain of the ship he has the same legs as the assistant he has a very cool um kind of rain jacket over the blue kind of same shirt that the other guy had a very just normal face um print but a nice one and a very cool sailor's hat with the whole yellow theme going on and a very subtle but yet nice back printing on this figure and they also include some pieces to um turn him into a ghost so let's take a look at him in his ghost 
and this is him in his ghost form. What changes is he has a green sword and a translucent green print for his face for um, him being um, infected with the ghost. And he has this very cool light green um, back piece. And I was thinking that that would kind of look cool if they did like a Venom minifigure, kind of put that on the back, but obviously it would be black. But there is kind of like the suction cup, so it might fold off for the Venom. But overall, a very um, cool piece and a very cool minifigure. And let's um, uh, see my final thoughts on these. And there you go. That is my review of the Rat Shrimp Boat set. My final thoughts on this set is um, for $24, if you can find it at that price, which I believe it's on Amazon for that price right now if you don't have this set it came out a while ago so it's a little bit of an older review but i think it's a very very good set and i would highly recommend getting this set even if you don't use the phone app i think this is amazing boat set this is one of my favorite sets for that 24 dollar price tag very very cool set I'm um, glad to have it in my collection. And if you did enjoy this video, please leave a like and subscribe. It would mean a lot. And please leave a comment if you like the new setup or the old one. If you want me to switch it to the all white on the floor. Or if you want me to just leave the desk if you like the wooden desk better. Please uh, put that in the comments below. It would mean a lot. And thank you for watching the video. And like I said, please like and subscribe. It would mean a lot. Peace.